Uh, I'll be doing the Saturn number of planets, and, and Saturn, of course, relates to people born uh, at the end of December and January, as well as those born on the 8th, 17th, or 26th day of any month. And it's also hooked up with February or Aquarius, and all the, also the sun is hooked up with February or Aquarius as well. So this will be how the uh, Saturn planets interrelate with the other planets. Now, when you put Saturn with the uh, number one, which is number one series, 1, 10, 19, or 28, it becomes a Mars-like uh, situation. So eight and one is nine. And uh, Mars causes a lot of endings of people, places, and activities when the relationship comes together. And it's a very volatile planet. It, it also ha could have something to do with uh, Aries as well as Scorpio and those born on the 9th, 18th, or 27th day of any month. Uh, the second one is uh, when Saturn 8 comes together with 2 to Moon it brings a 10-1 vibration, which is the sun. The sun in itself is considered very favorable, uh, but also the people would have like an independent relationship, and everything, anything they do or what, that, what they're known to do would be remembered because it has the vibration of, of the Wheel of Fortune, which is uh, the 10th uh, tarot card. Uh, the th when eight comes together with three, which is Jupiter, it becomes like a moon planet, and uh, they're very sensitive together, and there's issues of privacy, and it's a very creative uh, relationship. Uh, but like I said, issues of privacy come up in their life. Uh, when Saturn comes up with Uranus, number four, and remember, it's the fourth series, 4, 13, 22, or 31, it becomes a 12-3, which is sacrifice. And they sacrifice to the plans or problems of others. But the three always relates to siblings, friends, young people, and also social situations. Uh, when Saturn hooks up with Mercury, number five, uh, it, it, acts, uh, it acts like uh, Uranus. And it's a very mundane uh, discipline, routine uh, type of life, and uh, a bossy situation could come into it, and the people would have changes in place and plans frequently. Uh, when Saturn hooks up with Venus, which is six, it causes a Mercury-like uh, condition, which is the people will always be juggling things, communication will vary, um, there would be questions about people's actions or behavior, and also, the, it would cause the people to be a, in the public eye in some way. Uh, when 8 hooks up with 7, Neptune, it, it becomes like a Venus vibration. And the people will be it'll look like an attractive couple that belongs together. And things about family and responsibility uh, would be one of the key things in that relationship. When Saturn comes together with Saturn, it becomes like uh, Neptune, very learning, introspective. They learn a lot from each other, but there would be some situation where uh, the pro a problem of detachment in a relationship with a male in some way uh, would, would be a very big learning experience for the couple. Uh, when you put Saturn and Mars together, eight plus nine, uh, it, it becomes Saturn again, and uh, property assets, legal insurance matters, uh, business type of situations, uh, business type of couple that may stay together for money or business reasons. And uh, it's the 1780 is what uh, they'll be remembered for or doing. The 17 has a lot to do with um, anything scientific or technical uh, as well. And those are the major uh, differences between the Saturn planets.